This week I'll show you how to use a white wall as a light modifier. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography. I'm Mark Wallace. Remember, Exploring Photography is brought to you by Adorama. It's the place with all of your photography needs can be met, gear, education, rental, even printing, right at Adorama. Just check it out at adorama.com. Well, when I'm shooting full length portraits, I love soft wraparound light. And the way I love to do that almost always is to use a giant four x six softbox like this one. My favorite's this Profoto four x six RF softbox. And I almost always use my acute 1200 pack from Profoto and it works awesome. And I shoot that on a nice white background and we get some really nice looking portraits. But what if you don't happen to have one of these really expensive lights like that? Maybe you have a single light like this Profoto D1, or maybe you have a speed light. Can you get a look that similar? Well, absolutely. In fact, you can get a look that's similar by using a light modifier that you probably already own. It's not a softbox. It's not an umbrella. Oh no, it's something that you have in your house. It is a giant white wall like this. So we're going to show you all the cool things you can do using a white wall as your light modifier. All right, well, Sharon has joined us and she will be our model today. Now the key to this is bouncing the light off of our white wall. So we have a single source of light. This is a Profoto D1 and notice this is a really small source of light. And so normally if you're shooting a portrait, you don't want that. You want a really large source like an umbrella or a softbox. Well, we don't have one, but what we do have is this big white wall. So this small source of light comes flying out over here, gets really large and it bounces off of this. This diffuses the light. It makes the light go all different directions and it comes bouncing back this way. And notice we have these white foam board panels. So the light is gonna be uh, bouncing all around here. So mainly it's coming off that wall, hitting this at a 45. It's coming right back in here. It's bouncing around behind Sharon. And so we're just getting surrounded with nice, soft, diffused light. And that's gonna look terrific. Also, this white foam board panel right here is going to double as our nice, soft background. And I know that what I wanna do is desaturate this, make it look really nice and soft, maybe add a vignette. I'm gonna do all of that in Lightroom. So I already know that in my head. That's what it's gonna look like. So let me take a few pictures and show you what it looks like with a little bit of post-processing applied. <laughs> Well, now let's talk about speed lights. And so I have a single speed light right here. This is an SB900, and this could be any speed light, a Canon or a Sony or an Icon, you choose. And what this guy is doing is it's gonna, again, it's gonna hit our really large white wall here. I have this actually zoomed out to 20 millimeters. So I have it at the widest spread possible. So it's gonna illuminate as much of this white wall as possible. And then it's gonna bounce back. And then we have a couple of different things going on here. So we have a black foam board panel right here and that is going to serve as our background of our photo. So we're gonna be shooting this way. So this is the back right here. So it's gonna be shooting this way. So that means because Sharon is not sideways to the wall, she's at an angle, this is going to come at her at an angle and illuminate the majority of her face. So it's broad lighting. Now to fill that in, we have this white panel on the other side that's gonna come this way, fill in the other side of her face and give us really nice soft light. And then we have this silver reflector here. Now the silver reflector is going to reflect more light than this white panel. And what that's going to do is it's gonna come right back here and it's just gonna give us a little highlight, a little silver lining around her hair and her shoulder, just to give us a little bit more punch and to effectively work as a separation light or a kicker light to give a little highlight to her hair. And that's all there is to it. Now we metered this at 5.6 which is a pretty wide open aperture. And the reason we're doing that is a speed light just doesn't have a lot of power. In fact, we started this guy at full power and what happened was as we were shooting, we actually overheated the flash. So you don't wanna do that. You wanna keep this down to about a half or a quarter power, which means you're gonna to have to either raise your ISO or shoot with wider open apertures and shoot a little bit slower than you are going to use with a, a normal studio strobe. Well, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna take a couple of photos and show you what this lighting setup looks like.
As you can see, a large white wall like this one can really broaden your horizons if you don't have a lot of light modifiers. You don't always need a giant softbox or an umbrella or a beauty dish. You can just use what you have at your disposal to really create some amazing effects. We were able to use just a speed light and a studio strobe to really wrap a lot of light around Sharon and get some nice soft portraits, and you can do the same thing. Now, for more ideas about lighting and understanding light, make sure you go over to the Adorama Learning Center. There are tons of videos and articles and all kinds of information about not only uh, lighting, but the gear used to get those effects. So don't miss out on this free resource from Adorama. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV so you don't miss a single episode because we have a wealth of information to give you for free. So there you have it, and I will see you next time. Uh, this guy has a... <laughs> there you have it, you can use a... Well, as you can see, a large white wall like this one can really, what does it do? Expand, broaden, right, broaden. And you'll get that nice, soft, surround, diffused light that you want. What the <laughs> am I saying? I need to take a drink. Just a source of light, a white wall, bounce that stuff around and you're gonna get a great. <laughs> so use a single source of light, a speed light, a studio strobe, you have it, or what have you. <laughs> For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.